morning. I don't know if you can hear that, but we've got um, fairly heavy rain. It's been like this for the last couple of hours. It's about half past eight now. A, a light showers through the night. Uh, I slept really well as well. So did Max in his um, wolf bag. But anyway, I'm having a lazy morning on the second day of this Lake, tri Lake District trip. So I just thought I'd run through a few of the items what I've bought with me on this camp today. There's Max's wolf bag. He's had a good night's sleep in that. Uh, for my sleep system, map-wise I've bought the Sea to Summit Etherlite Extreme. That's a very thick, comfortable mat. It's quite heavy at 700, just over 700 grams. But it's got a very thick layer of what I think some sort of synthetic insulation in it. So if um, I get a puncture or anything that should provide some um, insulation to keep me through the, going through the night. Under that I've just got a thin sheet of, it was from ultralight, um, ultralight gear. It's just a bit of EVA foam. It helps keep the um, say to summit mat in place, stop it sliding about on the Cuban floor. The rest of my sleeping system is that's a mountaineer, a western mountaineer in summer light. And I've got um, a synthetic quilt from Valley and Peak over the top that provides extra heat but also more importantly for me in winter. It um, controls condensation. The outside of this I'll have a light layer of condensation on in the morning, but it's dry now. But the inside, the down bag, that stays bound dry. Uh, let's just go over here. Those are some uh, synthetic um, over trousers I got from Gram, Gram Expert, I think it is. The packs. A Hyperlite Mountain Gear Southwest 4400, that's a 70 litre. And for cooking, I've uh, dug the gas stove out on this one. I don't normally bother with gas. Um, I usually use my meths for, I'd say, 90% of the time. But I was only coming out for one night initially on this trip. And I'd got enough meths for one night. But... Um, when I unexpectedly had the chance to get out for two nights, um, I hadn't got enough meth, so I bought a the gas stove as well. What else have we got? There's my other stove that I've bought. That's the Flat Cat uh, Celia. That's the meth stove. I've bought my other down jacket there, PhD, minimum, I think that's rated down to about minus five. I, hadn't have, I haven't had to use that this trip because um, I've bought um, the Patagonia Nana Puff women, I'm currently wearing that. These are just Cuban cells from Treadlight Gear, what I organise all my gear in. And that's most of the main gear anyway. The only other gear I've got is the shelter. The Hyperlite Mountain Gear Ultimate 2. And I've got the full insert in me there. This is wild camping luxury. Of course the insert, the bathtub floor, which is Cuban, covers the whole of the ground area under the top. So I can put things wherever I want to. I can move wherever I want to under here. And I'm going to start dry. I'm going to finish my second coffee now and decide what to do with the day. It may be as I head home because um, there's some very strong storm force winds due to come in from early tomorrow.
night I'm just heading down from a camp last night on Bice Brown. Um, as you can see it's pretty misty and murky. Uh, I was out for two nights but I've been checking the weather forecasts and um, it's looking like the storm force winds coming in tomorrow. They're a bit uncertain uh, as to when that could be but if I hit early hours of the morning then it's the 80, up to 80 mile an hour like I said it, it could be a bit comfortable not to mention a bit dangerous so I'm just heading back towards the van now. change of plans. Um, I didn't leave camp till about 10, 10.30. It was really heavy rain and um, I looked at yes, tomorrow's forecast and there's a chance of some strong um, storm force winds coming in but the um, timing of that's uncertain on the mountain weather site so I was going to head home but it's now forecasting some clearances this afternoon and the uh, another web another uh, mountain weather website is saying like it won't be as strong the winds in the morning so i'm going to chance it anyway so i've just come back over uh, green gable heading back out to uh, brand ref and then over to grey knots and i'm going to try and find a nice sheltered pitch for the night there I've only got dropped down then down to the Honester Slate Mine where I parked the van. I've just pitched up, got the old to mid in semi storm mode because there's a chance there could be some very strong winds this morning. But I don't know if you can see it, the fence line is just on that ridge there. I've just got to follow that and drop down to Honister. Right, we'll see how the night goes. Storm force winds and heavy rain moving till about four o'clock. It's about twenty to nine and the rain's starting to ease off a little bit. The winds are still very strong, some real good gusts. Um, but the ultimates are holding up well. I've just made a coffee and then once I've drunk this I'm going to think about packing up and getting off this hill.
I don't know what the exact wind speed is, but mountain weather was forecasting storm force winds of 50 to 80 mile an hour. And I'd say these certainly feel like at least 50 mile an hour. Time to start packing up, I think. <laughs> 